I'm Hansika Jitnani. I run the UAL ANZA Fundraising Society. We basically fundraise for ANZA, a charity that works in Tanzania, and mainly to go there next September as well. We're going to go help re renovate a school. Um, they have a huge school with 222 pupils but only five toilets and the toilets are in a really bad condition. Um, a, lot, a lot of the waste is just being excreted outside and that's a huge health and safety risk. So it's just things like that that we'd be going to help and change. Um, we're fundraising for the building supplies and our costs of accommodation while we're there. And besides that, they also have a lot of land, but they, there's a lot of opportunity, but they don't know what to do with all that land. So we'll be helping build vegetable farms and um, chicken coops and just anything that could benefit the community. Um, Anza is it? Anza's work is mainly very hands-on. They like teach the uh, youth how to set up their own businesses. Um, the littlest of things like setting up a mushroom garden so that the person could earn an income and at the same time benefit the rest of the community. Um, and we just like personally, I found them very um, more. It was more than just giving books to a, like a group of students and sort of telling them this is it. It was more like teaching them the skills and it was much more than just giving them the money as well because sometimes when you give a group of people who aren't necessarily sure what to do with the money, money, they might use it the wrong ways and it's just, it was a lot more than just handing them 50 pounds. It's teaching them how to use the 50 pounds and it was a very, um, it's, it gets the whole community involved and it's benefiting and helping everyone. Sele, sele. They even have another project where they teach the women in the community to make their own reusable sanitary napkins and that's something, and, uh, feminine hygiene is something really vital and something that is not given much importance. Um, in certain parts of the world people aren't very educated about it. We're fundraising, like I said, to go there and for their projects and one of the events that we have coming up is an open mic night tomorrow. Um, yeah, feel free to come and support us and yeah, there will be a booth where you can take Christmas photos and we'll be having, we'll be having a booth with Christmas cookies as well and you can come and perform as well. We'll be more than happy to have you. Yeah,